Peace with Lillian. It's so good to be back. I haven't been, uh, I haven't done any video for a while now. I want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel. And those of you that have not subscribed, you're just watching for the first time, please do subscribe because there are lots of beautiful things that happen here. Yes. So today I want to talk about something that is very, very familiar to us yes it's familiar to us because especially as women we are always worried about this particular thing and that is how we look how we are feeling and what's going on with our body are we losing are we not losing so i want to talk about losing weight and keeping it off a lot of people have been saying, how do I lose this weight and keep it off? How do I shed it off and still keep it off? I find myself, I have been there. Yes, I have been there, you know, like, oh, I've lost 10 pounds. And boom, the next two weeks or three weeks, I'm getting like 15 back. So I have been there and I know how you feel. I'm still a work in progress. So don't say, ah, she really lost everything. No, 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 no. I'm still a work in progress. And that's what I want to also walk us through so that we all can do this together. It is not just your race, it's our race. All of us, we're going to run together. So losing weight and keeping it off, how to figure out what works, what works, what truly works. How does, how are we going to do it? So losing weight is a language most people do not like to hear. Even me, I don't, I don't like to hear it. You know, it makes you think about the list of food that you might be eliminating from your food tray. Like, oh my God, I eat this. Do you want me to shed this off? Do you want me to cut it up? Lillian, I can't. I still love my food. That's okay. So let's use the word eating healthy. Living healthy and staying healthy. That's what I want us to use today. So when you have that at the back of your mind, you're not going to be so stressed out about, oh my God, what am I going to do? How will I lose this weight? What will I eat? What will I not eat? And all that. Everyone is different. So when it comes to eating healthy, everybody's body is different. So that's why I said, we're going to talk about how to figure out what works what works for you might not be what works for me. And what is working for me might not be what will work for you. Yeah, you can be on a particular diet that allows you to eat meat and is working for you. I might not be on that same diet and it just won't work for me. Yes, so everybody is different. So the plan most times cannot be the same. The plan cannot be the same. You know, so you have to find out the bits and pieces of what will work for you. You just have to do that. So how do you do this? If you're going on this weight loss journey so that you'll be able to keep it off is by starting consult with somebody like a head coach like me. If you have a nutritionist, that's fine. If you have whatever you have, anybody who will guide you to know your body type, to know what you're eating, to know how you're feeling. Because the reason why we say we need to start eating healthy, consciously, intentionally eating healthy, is because it will help you to alleviate those pain, take away inflammation, take away diseases. You know, because most of the food we eat actually causes those diseases, causes those sicknesses arthritis, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cancer. Think about it. Inflammation, and inflammation is a huge one. It's one of the things that actually brings a lot of these sicknesses and diseases. You know? So how do you put your bits and pieces together? You have to set out a plan. What is the plan that is going to work for you? Some people say, oh, okay, I don't eat in the morning. I don't eat in the afternoon. Is that working for you? Then write it down. Take a piece of, take a, a notebook, get a journal and begin to write out what are you eating in the morning? What are you having for snacks? What are you having for lunch? What is your midday snack? What are you having for dinner? And what time are you having your dinner? Trust me, I used to be so guilty of that. And sometimes I console myself. You know, sometimes we still cheat, even if we do this. It's allowed. Don't flog yourself. It's allowed. Because by the time we have all these things in our mind and our head, I'm telling you, it's going to work. 
and you'll be able to keep it off. I have started this journey for a long time, but it just didn't start working well until a year ago for me. And people were like, oh my God, Lillian, yeah. And I started maintaining it. I'm, like I said, I'm still a work in progress because I still have some few pounds to shed off, you know. But what I am doing is I have discovered what is working for me. The kind of food that is working for me. It's a try and error process until you get it right. It's a bit of try. I tried this, it worked. And I, oh, it's an error. I'm not going to try this again next time. Yes. So number one get a journal that you're going to be writing down your food what you're eating and but like i said if you can consult with somebody who will give you that guidance so that you know your body type because it's very important to know your body type before you embark on any weight loss journey because what i eat what i drink might not be good for you so a lot of people just come there's oh my god there's this weight loss thing and they just jump in boom they just go oh there's this weight loss uh plan that is out now they just jump in oh boom 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 no what is working for you how do you know that so you have to consult with somebody who is gonna help you to say okay what is your body type what is this and what is that what is that they do all this consultation with you then you begin to chat your food and it's baby steps, baby steps, because when you go boom, 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 you want to lose it in one week, you're going to gain it back most of the time. You're going to gain it back. So the thing is, you start with that journal when you discuss with a person who's going to help you, or if you want to go to online and read about it or find out about it, you start chatting. This is what I eat. This is what I eat and this is what I eat. Then the portion of what you're eating before you begin to cut them down. Why are we talking about this? It is very important that people eat very healthy. Because we are made into natural things. There's so many natural things out there that we can put into our food. And it's still the same thing that you're eating. You're not going to lose out anything, but it might just be a little different preparation. It might just be a little tweak to it. To say, oh, okay, I used to put this before, but I'm not going to put this inside of it. I want to change it to this. So let's take an example. You want to make cookies. We call it biscuits in Africa. So you want to make cookies? Yes. And now you find out that some of the cookies they make have a lot of sugar and you're diabetic. You don't want to eat that. What is the difference now? You're going to make it with a different flour. If you don't want to use the all-purpose flour, then you're going to make it with maybe a wheat flour, almond flour, any flour that is healthy, quinoa flour. Now you do that. You're not going to add sugar, maybe a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of honey or something you want to put just to give it a taste if you want to. So the, the, what we're saying is losing weight is not such a big deal. Like people say, oh my God, for you to lose weight, you have to fast intermittently. You have to do this. Not everybody is built the same way. Our bodies are different. The way we're built is different. So you have to have a set plan. There has to be a strategy that will work for you. So you have to find it. What is going to work for you? And when you do that, you're going to be happy, free of diseases, free of sicknesses. I'm not saying that when people eat healthy that sometimes they don't get some sort of things, maybe tired or whatever. It can happen. But now you are doing your part. I always have this saying that, let me do my part and let the superpower do his own part. So you do your part and allow God to do his own part. You do your part and allow the natural food that you're taking into your beautiful body to do its own part. But if you're just eating everything that you see, that weight is not going to go off. And if it goes off, it's going to come back because you're still going to go back to that thing that you're eating that is not very good for your body. So it's very, very good. When we talk about losing weight, it's not about starving yourself. No, no, no. It's not about starving yourself. You can eat, but now portion control comes into play. 
you control the portion you eat. If you used to eat something so big and all that stuff, now you begin to reduce them. It's better for you to eat them little bits, little bits, a lot of times than not eating at all. And when you want to eat now, you compensate for that time that you have not eaten and have the whole plate like, you know, so full. And after eating that, what happens? You're going to sleep. So most times, some of these things that we put in our mouth, going down into our belly, is not really helping us. So you have to check what are you eating. And that's why I mentioned you need to work with somebody. You need to ask questions. You need to read and see. If you are the type and say, oh, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, or I can't really do them. There are a lot of them that are audio that you can listen to. I'll put some link down below on my page there so that you can see some of these things. You can click to them. You can go read some of them. It will help you live a healthy life, a beautiful life, a sweet life, you know, that you will enjoy because life is one. There is no duplicate. So the way you take care of this body is the way the body is going to look. If you take care of it in a rough way, the body is going to be rough. It's going to look rough. But when you maintain your body with the natural food that you have been blessed with, that body is going to come out radiating, beautifully glowing. And sometimes people ask, like, oh my God, since you started shedding weight, you're glowing. Yes, because those fats, those toxins and those things are gradually getting off the body. They're all getting off the body. So, I hope you've enjoyed my few tips. Let's do a recap again. Number one, get a journal to chat your food. Chat what you're eating. Oh, Lillian, I can't do it. How am I going to do it? And put it on your phone. Yeah, put it on your phone. This morning, I had this. This morning, this is what I had for breakfast. This morning, this is, you know, I had this in the afternoon. I had this for lunch or for your snack time. This is what you chat it. Then it will help you within a week to see what you are eating. Is it helping you or is it doing something not too good to your body? Because health is wealth. So finally, I want to say that do not flog yourself. The process is still a little bit of a try and error. This is good. Yes. I tried this, it's so good. I tried it, it wasn't so good. It's okay. Switch. Switch to something different. So let's keep doing that. Let's keep staying healthy. I'm so glad to be back. Sometimes I'm going to be here talking about different topics like this. And sometimes I'll be in the kitchen showing you some few recipes that I am using now. I am so excited because I have a lot of things to share with you guys in the kitchen, you know, in another video. So don't forget to subscribe and also set your notification bell so that when next I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get it. And I'm telling you, Heady Gist is going to be bringing you a lot of amazing things that will help your spirit, your soul. We're going to be talking about meditation and so many things that is beautiful for our body. Thank you so much for watching this video at this time. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Shalom.